Hello and welcome to something a little bit different for the channel, something I don't do very often. I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a game cast. Random game and today I'm actually on the RIP server and I'm going to be following this game and giving you a little bit of a commentary if I can pull it off without getting too much of a sore throat. Got to get some Yorkshire tea. And we'll follow some of these guys onto the battlefield. I will give you a little bit of commentary along the way. So we're actually going to be following the Russians here and the Russians are going to be playing against the insurgent forces which are going to be in red so it looks like these guys are going to be going out with pretty much every single vehicle here and this is the most important part of the game or should I say the part of the game that I actually love the most is this first five ten minutes this really does set up the precipice for the rest of the action within the game and if we look at the map over here looks like these guys are going to be going straight down to the south and setting up a fob or a radio down at the bottom and they're also it looks like one of the other squads is going to try and set one up at the top giving them some great coverage throughout this map straight off the back so these guys are taking the time probably not the best tactic you want to get out there lads come on get out there you rusky stop drinking vodka let's move and let's get out let's see quite a few guys sat on the back of this at btr waiting to go out and it looks like we've got rambo in the driver's seat now what you may have noticed as well is that there is now health bars on these vehicles and while I thought, I don't know if I like this, the devs have actually said this is there to help new players know when the vehicle is about to be destroyed because we know you can take a hit now and actually get out. So It is what it is, you know, it's not, I know a lot of the, uh, should we say, pro players don't want it, but you know, this is the devs, this is what they want. So it looks like this vehicle's moving up, and already these guys have got themselves out of here. We've got a hippie down here, and it looks like it's taken a hit already. Now, was that an, an RPG, or was that a mine? That was very, very difficult to see, but that is a terrible ticket loss this early in the game to be actually losing to the insurgent forces. As you can see, I'm not sure how many were in there. Maybe some extra bodies actually in there, but that is a terrible start to this game. And Hippie, I don't really know whether you want to be going off on your own like this when you're up against this many of the, the Russian forces. Chances are, mate, you're not going to be lasting very long and it looks like he's already down. Squad by name, squad by nature. As you can see here, it looks like these guys are sending some people up to get a little bit of reason on this hill while the majority of the force here... Yeah, he took that RPG. He's actually going to protect... Now, my experience in Project Reality from this type of thing, in that game, the infantry leads the BTR stays at the back and they protect it, especially when it's street clearance, they will clear each street and move it up. Too many times I've seen the BTR going straight into the middle of the action and you lose it. And it's a waste for your team and the game and it's worth a lot of points. And it's rather long respawn time to get another one. So as you can see, this guy's moving back. Rambo's at the helm, it may be better for this guy to go back and actually repair, depending on how much damage this guy's taken. Doesn't look like, he's got about half damage, so he's going to be moving up, which is very... Needs to be very careful here. If we go over on this left flank, as you can see now, the, the actual Russians on this side... The Russian ground forces are really spread out, it means they've got great overwatch over this entire compound here. Where, really... The insurgents over on this side are very clumped up in this building. They may have been better spreading themselves out over here onto the right. Meaning they can see the enemy coming in easier, or even up on these hills here. So, the Russians are in a fantastic position here to actually take this. As we come down here. You can actually see these guys here. Moving in. One of the RIP guys, obviously it's their server. These guys are moving up and it looks like the actual insurgents have dug in here slightly. I don't know if they've got any emplacements up or anything like that. No, they haven't. I've actually got a man down here. And this guy's using a hole in the wall. Directly. Now, this is interesting. We've got a squad leader here. I'm not sure what he's doing. It looks like he's throwing a grenade over into that compound and he missed. Let's just move up here with the insurgents and get a look, little look at what they can actually see from this position. 
not a lot on that smoke. We're actually running it on the cinematic setting here, so the smoke and the effects should be a little bit increased. Again, these guys look like they're building a hab. Not the good idea as well uh, to keep the infantry this close together. We see that these guys are healing and uh, building structures because one one MLAW rocket or one grenade will literally take you all out. And, and including now we have mortars as well and things like that. It's not the best idea to be bunched up. Sounds like we have a vehicle over to our left here. What have we got here? One of the rip lads. Can't quite make it out. Hip fire hippie. Now, he may have an IED on here. I've noticed this is a this is a tactic now. He actually put the bomb on the motorbike and then on the radio in their squad, they tell the other member, blow the bomb. Either way, either they're on it or they're off it. Let's just have a look what he's actually doing here. Looks like he's doing the okie koki What's he doing? Healing himself. And if we have a look at the actual motorbike, doesn't look like he's actually got any anything on there. No, oh, healed himself up, and he's back on the road again. We're just going to follow this guy for a little bit, and let's just see where he's going to go. We'll bring up the map. Looks like he's actually moving up to the resupply point here. Unless we haven't actually got mortars in play as yet. And if we actually look at the map... We don't have any bombs or IEDs placed either. But this is rather interesting what this guy is doing here. Whether he's actually going to be planting something, it's hard to tell what actual class he is here. What is he actually doing? What are you doing? Hipfire Hippie! Hipfire Hippie! Hipfire Hippie, what are you up to, lad? You can't hear me. What was he doing there? He certainly wasn't planting an IED. Who knows? Very strange. Right, so let's move up. Let's have a look at the action. And see what's happening over here. Very sporadic over here. We've actually got some of the insurgent forces here bunching up. Let's just see where they're actually moving to. They're actually moving slightly up towards the cache. And these guys are going to be pretty unchallenged, as you can see. We've got a few down here with a BTR, a few over in the fields. These guys... Wow, I presume that was an IED, but that's very strange for uh, for these guys to be actually setting that off in their own base. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. That's very strange, but you can't really get into the mind of an insurgent, can you? They're not like regular people. And what is going on down here? What are we firing at down here, lads? What's going on here? What's going on in here? What are you up to? Yeah, I'm talking to you lot. Wooter, Reuben. What are you doing? Now they can hear me, because I'm using the mic. I've got no idea what these guys are doing. Yeah, I know he's actually got the mobile phone in his hands. So it may be... These are new players, and they want to test out the goodies. So we look at the map. Again, there's no skull and crossbones down there, so they haven't actually... They haven't actually placed anything. So what we're going to do is, we're going to move back up to squad three. And we shall have a look. Oh, what's happening on the battlefield down here at Logo Valley? Now, Logo Valley, incidentally, was one of the... One of the very first maps that we actually got in testing when the game first came out. And it's always been one of my favourite maps. The lighting has changed, which is nice. I did prefer the, the more bright, like bright setting, but that's available on other layers. Let's get ourselves further up to the north and see what's happening here. As you can see, the Russians are actually protecting... They're not actually that far away from the actual cache. And there are a lot of insurgents up at this end. So they're actually not that far away from the cache. Whether they've discovered the cache as yet, I'm not sure. 
So we've got a little fight going on here down at this compound. Derek there, squad leader with his pistol out. Taking some pot shots. I don't know if that's a good idea for you to be using your pistol against an RPK. But hey ho. Got a little gunfight going on here with one of the rip lads. If in doubt, put some purple smoke down and let everybody know where you are. Oof, lucky lad. Obviously we know the new animation system is going to be coming. Bolting over walls and things like that. It's just going to be so much nicer. Right, we're actually getting away from the action here a little bit. Let's just move up. As you can see, the Russians really have dug themselves in here. Should I say the insurgents? Insurgents really have dug themselves in here. This is pretty much locked down from all angles. And a few guys coming out scouting, looking around. But regarding that, the Russians really do need to start pushing here. They're very, very widespread out on the outer skirts here. But then again, this is insurgency. So until these guys actually find the cache, which is going to be down here in this building we get down here and have a look should be in here somewhere can't quite see it where is it where is it it's actually further up should be roughly around here somewhere it's usually in a compound well I can't find it well there you go it's here somewhere and these guys have started to put up a few of these sandbags here. I think these are man-made. I don't know whether these have actually been added in as a new asset to the actual map. Surprised we haven't had more vehicular combat as yet. Let's see what these guys are doing down here. Come on, lads, get fighting. Sounds like we have a 50 cal or something over on this side. Winters here about to take two of these guys on. Russians here about to get taken out by the insurgents. That's very unlucky. He kind of went through that around that corner without looking. And that's what happens. You get absolutely mullered. This really is quite a quiet game. Obviously, once these guys find the actual cash, things are really gonna ramp up here. A little bit of action over on this side as we come down. Now that sounds like an emplacement to me. It's actually the BTR. Let's just come down here. And striker. Not the BTR. Now we've got a squad leader here. It sounds like he's just put something down. Beautiful. 101 BTR. Not a bad position, really. Um, not the easiest thing to hit now that they've reduced the range on the RPGs and things like that. Although he is quite vulnerable from up on these hills here, should any of the enemy decide to flank this guy. And what have we got? What is he building here? It's hard to see at this point. Is this a sandbag? He may be putting sandbags up here to actually protect the vehicle, which I think is what he's going to do. He's going to put one here around the front and around the side, that's actually not a bad idea at all. And he's probably, I'm gonna guess, he's gonna put a couple of sandbags, he's gonna put a second set on top, because it's only the gun at the top that really matters. Quite a nice little tactic here from this guy. What's his name? Micah2808. Well done, lad. I like the way you think. And we've got a few booms over there, which uh, I'm gonna guess is Rambo having a dump. Sounds like we have another vehicle moving up here. Let's go up and have a look. What an amazing sound. Robert Ruski! Couldn't have a better Russian name than that, could you? So these guys up here, not really providing much up here, apart from troop transport, I think. Not actually a lot happening at this stage. Should be moving up. Actually, if they moved straight directly forward here, they would actually have great overwatch down on the valley down here. 
These guys are probably going to be moving up with the previous vehicle to give them a little bit of support, but we'll follow this vehicle down as they move into battle, into combat. Let's see what these what tactics these guys come up with. Time for the Russians to move in and smash the insurgents. You fall out the back of it, lad. Go on, keep tabbing. Still a bit of Yorkshire tea. Well, oh, and it looks like the insurgents are already... They're already starting to fire at this vehicle. Well, a long way out. The chances of them hitting this... You have to be quite accurate with your distances and aim quite high to hit it at this range. This is quite a long way out. So as you can see, they're literally just pepper potting now. He's not actually aiming for anything in specific. And as we move back over here, we are going to see the sandbag emplacements actually around this vehicle, so brilliant tactic here, brilliant tactic, and these guys, what are they doing? It's actually a man down here, so the medic's here, and it looks like insurgents know it's here, they are starting to put some rockets down this end, and attack the BTR, and he's moving up to the sandbags, so more secure! Let's just see if we can see any more rockets incoming for this guy. Yeah, as you can see there. I don't know whether that was from Special Ugly over here, taking a pot shot. Yeah, that was an anti-vehicle round. That was your AT, not your frag round. That came from over in this compound. As you can see, they are trying, they are way off. No point using the anti-vehicle rounds on infantry. We'll do damage. But it's not going to kill the infantry. It's not what it's designed for. It's actually one of these guys down here firing this way up towards the vehicles. Really, these guys could be pushing into this compound and just smashing them. Lots of rockets coming in this way. You can see what they're actually aiming for now. They're aiming down here for this vehicle here, which has actually been hit. Still got plenty of health left on this vehicle. That smoke is actually from the exhaust pipe. It's not actually from the damage. Bit of Yorkshire tea, love. So, has the enemy actually found the, the, um, the actual cache? It doesn't look like they've actually got in there as yet. As we know, the only way to destroy the cache at this stage is to use an incendiary grenade, which the squad leader has. These guys are continuing to dig in here. Actually putting up some Hesco blocks, it looks like, on the corner. Nice little tactic here. What the fuck you There's more than one. There's more yeah. than one. Squad leader just communicating, telling them where the enemy is further up. And Robert. It's playing it very cool back there. Well, let's see if we can come up and see what the uh, insurgents can see down here in this compound. The RPGs seem to be coming out of this sort of area somewhere. Let's see if we can actually find them. And they must have an ammo box down here because we're getting quite a lot of rockets. Can't just see anybody here. A little bit of a firefight going on here. A couple of Ruskies have moved themselves into the cheese grater building. And the actual... Insurgents, it looks like the insurgents are coming in here. There's one more. And they're taking them both out. This guy around here, it looks like, is he going to be taken out as well? And they're actually flanking them. What an absolutely fantastic move there. They actually, Rip came in on the other side and took both of these guys out. Dirty little flankers. And that's what this game is all about. Being a dirty little flanker. Well, as this game is such a slow-paced game today, I think we're actually going to call that a day on this actual video. I'm just testing out these squad casts because I'm going to be doing some with Johnny O'Hara. So, Omaha, should I say. So, I'm getting used to speaking for this long. It gives you a bloody sore throat. But never fear, my dear. Yorkshire rules. God bless the Queen. I'll see you in another squad video.
Bye-bye.